So let me just talk to you right now about the slow fade. The second time this hit, I realized what was happening. At first, I didn't want to admit it. At first, I was in total denial, and I was like, no, that's just my PTSD. My trigger is getting pressed because I thought, this would never happen again. But I didn't think it would happen the first time either. And here I am watching. We were actually on a trip celebrating 34 years of marriage. And here I am watching my husband slowly fade away into the fog before my eyes. And I recognized he started talking about certain things. And, you know, I started recognizing that he was into the delusion it was coming. And then there would be just these moments that he was present, that my husband was present. And then he would start to fade away again. And it was like laying beside a total stranger because even the way he held me was different. Um, the affection was completely gone and my husband was very affectionate to me and I to him. And it was just so weird and awkward now because this is a stranger in my bed, in my home, in my life, that I have his last name. I bore his children. And I don't even know who this person is now. And I'm watching him fade into the fog. And I begin to grieve because I had to acknowledge what was happening. And during this grieving process, um, wow. Let me just hold on to that and I'll talk to you more about the grieving process in the next video.